My dear parishioners, as you know, today we celebrate here at the City of Mary what the Church would refer to as the external solemnity of the Feast of the Queenship, which is the titular feast of our parish and also of our religious congregation. So the Feast of the Queenship of our Blessed Mother was established by Pope Pius XII in 1954 to be celebrated every year on May the 31st. Although this year, the Feast of Corpus Christi is on May 31st, so the Feast of the Queenship is Friday, June 1st. And since that is a weekday, and many of those who have to work would not be able to be present, we're having our uh, outdoor procession this morning. Although this Friday we will have a High Mass and renewal of total consecration on the Feast of the Queenship. This title of our Blessed Mother as Queen reminds us of her power, that aspect of her dominion over God's creation. St. Louis Marie de Montfort says in his book on true devotion that our Lord shares his kingdom with his mother. And just as Jesus Christ is king, king of the universe, so Mary is queen. But not only is she queen, again, he shares the reign, the rule, the dominion with his mother. On the one hand, she is our mother. We call Mary our blessed mother. And in that regard, we know that her heart is filled with love and compassion and mercy for all her children. But not only does she have a mother's heart, filled with love for us, she also has the power, the ability to accomplish what she wishes. And St. Louis points out that Our Lady has complete dominion to the point that she gets, we could put it this way, whatever she wants, whatever she asks. And he says there's two reasons why our Lord himself submits to her will and allows her sway over creation. And that is number one, because he feels an obligation, we might say, to use our human terminology to honor his mother in that way. On this earth, she did everything for him that a mother does, and more, and he obeyed her. So now in heaven, he still obeys her by doing her will, by allowing her to have her wishes granted. But not only that, also, St. Louis points out, Our Lady would never ask for something that is contrary to the immutable will of God. And consequently, our Lord is only too pleased to accede to every one of her wishes, her requests. So in the litany of our Blessed Mother, after the various other titles, we come towards the end of the litany to Queen, 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 Queen of the Holy Rosary, Queen of the Angels, Queen of the Patriarchs, etc., etc. She's Queen, again, of all creation. And this should cause us, as children of Mary, a great joy to know that she's not only our spiritual mother, but that she is our Queen, and that she has the power, the authority, the ability to attain whatever she wishes. And then you might say, well, that being the case, why is it that we so often pray to Our Lady <coughs> for a cross to be removed, for a petition to be granted, and it doesn't happen? And the reason why is because our Blessed Mother, knowing as she does the will of God and God's plan, would not want to deprive us of a cross that God in His goodness gave us for our purification our sanctification, because she desires ultimately and above all the salvation of our souls. And so even though she may have the ability and the power to remove a cross, to take away from us a suffering, a trial, she will not do so if by removing it we would lose a tremendous opportunity of grace. So let us have complete trust in our Blessed Mother as our mother and our Queen, to go to her in every need, and to strive especially to imitate her virtues. So we celebrate, we honor 
here at the City of Mary this morning this wonderful title of Queen. But I would be remiss if I did not also remind you today on Memorial Day, a civil holiday, but one on which we also as Catholics should remember to pray for any departed servicemen who are in purgatory and in need of our prayers. And it would be a good day also for you to visit the cemetery and to remember all the faithful departed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost.